Hey there, I talk a lot about relaxation and energy building exercises. So today I'm going to show you the three best energy building exercises for you to build up energy, okay? These are the three that I like the most, that I enjoy the most, that I do the most. So in my opinion, they're, they're the most powerful ones, but there, there's definitely a lot more things you can do. I just want to offer three different uh, options for you, okay? So, hopefully you can hear, I'm going to go back a little bit so you can see my full body. The first one is called a breathing squat, okay? So what you do, you want to have the feet about, just a, in a regular position, so a regular angle. They don't want, you don't need to have them straight forward or too far out. So ideally they kind of just follow your natural stance with your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. And the form doesn't need to be perfect for this, so don't worry about the form as much, all right? All you do is you can have your hands together here, interlock your fingers, I like to do this. You breathe out as you go down, and you breathe in as you come up. You see if that's better there? You breathe out, and you breathe in. You close your eyes, breathe out, breathe in, and if you're very tired, if you have injuries, if you can't go too far down, that's fine because this doesn't need to, this shouldn't get you tired. So you can do, just go down a little bit and come up again. As simple as that. But the movement along with the breathing, okay, is what creates energy in your body. Think about an engine. How does an engine create energy? All right, so you're going to breathe out, breathe in, stay nice and tall, I'll see if I can do it from the side, it's, it's all uneven here, but I'll try my best, so you're going to breathe out, and breathe in, try to stay upright, breathe out, close your eyes, and breathe in, try not to round forward, Try to stay upright if you can, as much as you can. Like I said, if, if you can only go <clears throat> this far and up, again, that's fine. It's all about finding your level. You can adapt this to any level, okay? <clears throat> but it's about building that energy. I guarantee that if you do that for five minutes, just slow, slow breathing up and down, you will feel better after it, okay? Number two, it's called the energy push, okay? All you're going to do, imagine you're holding a ball, for example, and you're going to push it out, so you're pushing energy out as you breathe out, and you breathe in, and you bring it in. Breathe out, close your eyes, and you breathe in as you come back in. Remember to do the belly breathing, okay? Belly breathing. The air goes into your belly. Diaphragmatic breathing, alright? Talk about it, that in other videos. So the first two thirds of your breath should go into the belly. Last third can go into the chest, alright? Don't lock the knees for this one. Feet wide again, alright? So you don't need to lock the knees. And that's all you do. You breathe in. As you come in, breathe out as you push the energy out. And I love this one, believe me, doing this for five minutes, you'll feel great, all right? And you can play around with it. It doesn't need to be perfect like that. You can push out to the side and come back in and push out to the side. All right, think positively. Think about something you like while you're doing this, all right? Think about someone you love, your kids, your spouse, anyone. Think about a place you love, the beach, a lake, a river. Think about something positive. Smile while you do this. And I guarantee that you'll feel so much better after you do it. Okay? Number three, and that, that goes for all, all three of them, okay? Thinking positively, smiling, thinking about things that you love. Number three 
is the Tai Chi circles, okay? This one, same idea of holding kind of like an energy ball, if you want to call it that, okay? One foot in front of the other. You're going to breathe in as you come up and back, and you're drawing a circle. And breathe out as you go front, down, and forward. Okay, this one I'll show you from the side, it's probably easier to see. You're going to breathe out as you push down and out. Then when you get to this point, chest level, about that level, breathe in. Okay, breathe out. And breathe in. Like I said, form doesn't need to be perfect. Alright? The feet can go there, out, and in. Breathe out. Close your eyes, think about something nice, and then you can switch your feet if you get tired or if you need to switch, okay? So that's the main idea, just going out like that and back in, and down, breathe out, and back in, okay? And you want to move your whole body, move down, move up, okay? That's what generates the energy through the body, breathing and moving at the same pace, at the same time, all right? And if you combine it with thinking of something positively, some, something positive, something that you love, the results are amazing, okay? You relax, you slow down, you wind down, but you also feel better, your mood gets better. You smile, you're smiling. You're going to feel so much better. So use those three. Pick trial three. Pick the one that you like. And start using that every single day. One of those. The one that you prefer. Five minutes a day. Every single day. Okay? And I guarantee you're going to get amazing results. You're going to feel so much better. Alright? You're going to love this. Believe me. Go towards it with a positive attitude and you'll get something positive out of it believe me if you go into it thinking that it's not gonna work that's what you'll get but if you want results if you want something better if you want to feel better if you want to look better if you want to be more relaxed calm peace of mind give this a try you won't be disappointed I guarantee